meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. We got to a new location now. Come to the White Horse uh, um, in Yorkshire. Can't really see it from this angle. We'll just see the white a bit. Of it. And we just parked right down there at the moment. Car park was full. We've got a little bit of a trip walking up here, haven't we? Will? Yeah. That's a bit of a puff in the pant. So yeah, just gonna have a little wander around. But yeah, some fantastic views from here. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what it's like from the bottom. You can just see the horse when we get when you're at the bottom there in the car park. So yeah, that's our spot for tonight. So if it won't bad going up, it's just as bad coming down, isn't it, Will? Yeah. <laughs> Will's struggling getting down. We're gonna send Matt and Rescue out for him. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we were, right at the top of there. And just going down there, oh, getting to a bit of a flat piece now. Ooh, nearly there at the bottom. Yeah, they're a bit sharp, them stairs. But hey, need the exercise. Right, so here we are White Horse Kilburn Woods Forestry. No restrictions anywhere. Um, I think they've got some sort of sense, is there? Must just know how many people are in there. But yeah, lovely little place now. Got this idea from, as you see, from a few YouTubers. Um, I've seen parked up here, so we just got parked up there. Um, nice little walks down there. And obviously, there's the white horse. Uh, Will's still with me. He goes home tomorrow. He's got to go back to work. But yeah, you've got like a, and you can see over there, I don't know if you can hear me very well, it's a bit windy. Um, but yeah, you've got picnic areas here, nice little green bit, um, so kids can run around. I was going to park in this spot, but it's a bit too slant for me. But yeah, there's more tables over here. And if I spin you around, you can see a bit of the horse, you can make it out. Minus its head, which is just over there. But we did have a walk, there's some photographs we took up there. It's steep steps. But yeah, I, d I didn't understand what this was about, but reading the board, it was just some sort of rich guy. What He'd, he'd been down south, seen the, the chalk figures in the hills over there and, and fancied doing it himself here and got a school um, was involved back in the 1800s. And um, yeah, they lined it all out and 30 volunteers come down and built it. Um, apparently in 1925, it was um, all refreshed again. They saw it's, I think a lot of it's all like gravel they use up there now, um, but they keep coming back and tidying it up. But yeah, it's just a, these are just one of them spots. I've, I've been around Yorkshire, I did this as a kid. Unfortunately, my kids are not here to see it, but We'll come back. Um, yeah, just been having a few little teething problems with the old miller. She's just not, she's a bit gutless top end. And we're on some big hills around here. But people are now Sutton Bank. Uh, yeah, it's like a 25% hill. Lucky enough, we didn't have to come up it or down it. We turned off, but yeah, it's a, uh, it was a bit daunting thinking it was going down there, but we, this hill here is on a 25% downgrade. So we had to come down very slowly. But yeah, so here we go. Just gone down there. It's just nice and quiet now. So yeah, maybe stay here. I don't know, might move on tomorrow. I'll have a look tonight and see if there's anything else on the way back to Hull. Because Friday we've got the big day. We had the, the lorry pull at Daff. 
So I'm going to message Daph now at the moment, see if I can order some parts. Try and get an air filter, because mine's blank, and a fuel filter, and see if that helps her. Right, catch you in a bit. All right, welcome back. Here we are at Pocklington. Um, this is uh, Pocklington um, Canal. It's on part for night, this little spot, as you can see behind me. Uh, yeah, you get a few little spaces on here. Um, so we've I've just, when I pulled up, it was a bit full, um, a lot of visitors, but it's just emptied up now. So got free room to park where I want. So I'll spin you around and show you where we are. So this is uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, it's like a memorial um, of Lancaster's by the looks of it. Yeah, Lancaster bomber crash. This is a crash site near this spot. And there's all the names. All oh, right. Something I didn't know. So yeah, there's the entrance. You come in. That's where we're parked. Loads of room. Bins here as well. There's another car park further up. Um, but yeah, this is where we've got. And I mean, my, my side view, I just looked down the canal. It's beautiful. Um, so this is the end. This is uh, Top Lock. Uh, I think this is, looks originally the end. They're trying to open this place, so I will be putting a donation in. Uh, I'll show you that at the bottom, there's little donation tubs. But yeah, this is where they'll obviously turn around. And uh, yeah, we'll go down to the locks and have a look. There's old Millie. Beautiful house behind. But yeah, I've got a bag of rubbish, so it's worth paying. I'll chuck a few pound in the donation tub. But yeah, it's only up there, just past that red car is where all the locks are. So, we'll see you in a minute. So here we go at the top. Lovely. Also, you've got fishing pits. So that's where we are, Sandhill Lock. we have done a restoration on that one. Rocks, come on. Stop being silly. So yeah, there's a donation pot around the side here. Any details on there? And if you're up this way, you've got boat trips up the road as well. Dog's going crazy. Oi, trip me over. Right, go and show you the lock. Yeah, so this section you've only got from this lock to where my truck is. Um, and then there's a... The other side's not actually... Um, Restored yet from the other side of the locks. So, yeah, so yeah, it's only from here, sort of up to the house, obviously, where my truck was. And we got the lock. This would have probably been the old lock house. And then that side's all sort of Still not done, but that's they're trying to fundraise all the way up to it. Look there, there's a chicken. Can you see the chicken? <laughs> so yeah, that's just the end of it for now. It just goes to there. So yeah, it needs a lot of digging out, but then it's further on. Um, they have got it open, so you can go for boat rides. So, if we've got time tomorrow, I might try it. If we've done, if they're open with this COVID, so we'll have a look tomorrow. Yeah, the other nice thing about this place is uh, a 
if you look that's where we were back there you've got this lovely little walk around the canal um, and the little signs up all over but yeah especially for dog walking so you're liking it aren't you oh you're having a good old sniff she's loving it but yeah it's just a shame it's not open but one day they'll get the funds to get it all done um, I know the, you know the waterways are getting um, opened up all over the place but it's massive massive money there's places all the way around the networks so just volunteers doing the best to keep try and keep them open so we're just walking back to the truck and just noticed there's a pub straight across the road. <laughs> I don't know if it's still going. Obviously with all this COVID, might have shut down. Um, just going to pop out and have a look. Um, but yeah, if you're parked up here, I mean this is on park for night and everyone says it's peaceful. No one, there's no signs anywhere about parking. So, yeah, I'm not sure about the pub, but... Oh, there's a post box over there. I know there's no shops because it's right in Pocklington. It's right on the outskirts. So it's a, it says uh, 24 minutes to walk, uh, 8 minutes on a push bike. So not far, it's just up the road. It's, not, it's just down the road. Right, it's back in the truck. That's my view out the window. Lovely. It feels like I'm actually sat on. It's just how it's shaped. Uh, looks like a bit the canal, but yeah, no one that side. Busy little road up there, but it doesn't bother me. That will probably go quiet tonight. And you're on the munchies, aren't you? Oi! <laughs> right, that'll do for you. Um, that's about it. Tomorrow I go. This will be my last last sort of park up, basically for Yorkshire. Um, oh, this will be my last park up for Yorkshire. So, going to Hull tomorrow. You'll see that I'll probably do a special one. It's going to be the charity event where they're getting tractor pull. So, or well, tractor pull, yeah. Um, tr you know, they're going to, my mate Ryan's going to be pulling my, pulling Millie uh, for part of his 30, 30 lorries in 30 days over 30 metres. So yeah, that's going to be fun. So we'll see you there.